Hello everyone, welcome to True Crime and Tarot. I am Natalie and today's case I'm going to be speaking to you is about Richard Patron. As you can tell, it is um, the Richard Patron that is involved with Danielle in both. So he is still missing along with Danielle. So I've done two separate videos. So this one is about Richard Patron. So Richard was born on August the 29th, 1969. And he had disappeared February the 19th, 2005 in Philadelphia in Pennsylvania, over 17 years missing. His parents are Richard A. Patron Sr. and Margaret Sonsini. His sisters are Christine Patron, Elisa Patron, and he is a white Caucasian male and his weight was 200 pounds and his height is 5 foot 9. He was seen wearing a grey hooded polo sweatshirt, jeans, sneakers and his black and silver four-door 2001 Dodge Dakota or Dodge Ram pickup truck he was seen with and he was having a Pennsylvania license plate number which was YFH2319 and possibly a NASCAR hashtag 99 sticker in a rear window. He's a Caucasian male with brown hair. He has blue eyes and his nickname is Rich or Richie. He has a um, daughter's name tattooed on him, which is Angela. And that is on his left arm, on his bicep, and a tattoo of several clowns in coloured ink on his right bicep. And he wears glasses and has a beard and a moustache. Richard and his girlfriend, Danielle Imbolt, were last seen at Abilene's bar and restaurant in 400 block of South Street, Philadelphia in Pennsylvania on February the 19th, 2005 and they had some drinks with their friends at the establishment before leaving between 11.30 and 11.45pm and they stated that they were going to Danielle's home in Mount Laurel in New Jersey, neither of them been heard from um, or seen since. Their friends had stated that both of them had behaved very normally on that night and they seemed very happy, happy on that evening and Richard's vehicle is also missing as well um, and also there is a sticker in his rear window this is his um, uh, Dodge Dakota or Dodge Ram pickup truck that he had so that has gone missing alongside with Danielle and Richard um, so they had said then that Danielle and Richard have not accessed any of their belongings their bank accounts or their credit cards or EZ pass cards since that they had gone missing um, and their cell phones have stayed turned off and Richard and Danielle has one child each um, so Richard has a teenage daughter and Danielle had a toddler son at the time. So the loved ones stated that they had um, never had voluntary abandoned their families um, whom they were very close to and the couple knew each other in high school and they had begun dating 10 months before their disappearance after, after they both um, separated from their respective partners. The authorities had questioned the associates of both people, Richard and Danielle. Um, a strange husband had allegedly exchanged threats with one another over the telephone and Danielle had made multiple failed attempts to try and reconcile with her husband who was also involved with another woman also. Shortly before Danielle had disappeared, she had told her husband and Richard that she wanted some space um, from both of them and she was reportedly considering ending her relationship with Richard altogether um, and also that their loved ones believe that foul play was definitely involved in their case as well um, and both of their family accused members of the family of causing their disappearance and the investigators had also stated that very little evidence is available to indicate what had happened to Richard and Danielle but they have ruled out the kidnapping and they think a random act of violence is also unlikely so their disappearance are being investigated as a double homicide and possibly a murder for hire 
Richard was employed as a baker at the family business called Vikings Pastries in Ardmore in Pennsylvania at the time of his disappearance. He had worked there since graduating high school and he had used to live in Ardmore but moved to Philadelphia shortly before he went missing so he could remain closer to his daughter and also Danielle lived in Dunbarton Road in Mount Laurel in southern New Jersey in 2005. Richard lived in South Philadelphia and both New Jersey and Pennsylvania authorities are investigating the disappearance which um, remains unsolved today. So I've done a tarot card reading on Richard and I've done four questions like I did with Danielle's case. If you haven't seen Danielle's case then please um, go back to look at that one first. Um, and then come back and look on this video. So number one, what happened to Richard Patron? Two, who was involved in the disappearance of Richard Patron? Three, where is Richard Patron? And what is, for number four, what is the final outcome to be for Richard Patron's case? So we had the question one, what happened to Richard Patron? We had the King of Pentacles. So there was a male that was, may have been Richard, um, that was very confident, and that is a father figure who was a business owner. Um, reverse Empress. So there was a male who was very rigid and overusing their power and has some father issues um, and had some insecurities where there was a lot of struggles in a relationship. Someone that was very possessive and controlling and overbearing. Seven of Cups. There was opportunities and choices that was needed to be made but they had brought a lot of overwhelmness um, by these choices that was to be made. Temperance in reverse, so there was a risky business and imbalance and in people's drama. There was also not listening to their partner and involved with a lot of arguments. Will, so there was a closure that came in and there was a travel. Reverse ten of wands, there was a struggle where something had happened and there was a need of help. There was also a um, heavy weight being on someone's shoulders. There were secrets that was being kept to oneself. Reverse Ten of Swords, there was an ending, but someone was not ready for it. There was a lot of burdens and things that was carried around and being pushed deep down, but there was having to deal with it once and for all. Six Pentacles, there was either giving someone something and being generous. There is also sharing something with someone also. Six of Wands, so they was conquering their own fears and having some success and getting some public acknowledgement about it and brought a lot of attention. Justice, there was a legal situation involving finding out some truths and someone was taking responsibility for their own actions too. Who was involved in the disappearance of Richard Patron? So we have High Priestess. There was good or bad secrets that was to be revealed and acting on one's own intuition and embracing it. Reverse Ace of Pentacles. There was a lot of hesitancy about a offer or an opportunity and there was some risk due to a lack of planning. Reverse Tower. There was a personal transformation and something was very unsettling. There was a clinging on to someone or something that wasn't good. King of Wands, there was a strong male that was fiery, charismatic and very determined to be there for some support and they was very impulsive but also very mature with it. Reverse Judgment, there was contemplation and self-evaluation due to the past mistakes that they done and due to re re uh, regrets and there was to clear any shame and guilt. Reverse Queen of Swords, so there was a female who was emotionally involved and had allowed someone to try and dominate her um, in a negative way and she was very cold, very resentful and she had become very isolated from people. Where it is uh, Richard Patron? So we had reverse Ten of Swords, so there was an ending which he wasn't ready for due to something painful that kept getting dragged up and he tried to get over it um, so he could start afresh. Death. There was a death or an ending and leaving the past behind. Justice. There was trust, trust, truth that was being revealed and the police finding out the truth of someone that was to be called out about their actions and is to be involved in a legal case or the courts. 
reverse ten of pentacles, there was a relationship that was on the rocks and a business that was at risk. Reverse five of cups, there was disappointments and a personal setback and kept it from people. There was feelings of being guilty and ashamed. Lovers, there was true feelings being shown and choosing the best version of themselves. There was potential love affair that was involved. Knight of Cups, there was someone that was very young, um, a young male who took action and explored their own passion on how they felt with someone or something. Chariot, there, there was willpower, determination and taking some actions. People tried to distract them. Um, they was being very bold and courageous and laying down boundaries and there was also a travel or some car issue involvements. What is the final outcome to be for Richard Bertrand's case? And we had reverse Queen of Wands. There's a female who is more introverted than usual instead of being a social butterfly that is um, a long time to try and rebuild herself. Reverse eight of wands, there is to be a slow down and to be considering what someone wants before rushing into something. There is to be impatience and frustrations with it. Lovers, there's true feelings being um, shown and said and there is a love affair that is to be um, revealed also. Page of wands, so there's someone who is inclined to give anything a go and being very excited to travel. Um, this is tra travel over land involving a lot of possibilities. There's curiousness and being very intrigued to see where things actually go. Reverse King of Pentacles. There's a male who had neglected his loved ones. Um, there is money obsessions and trying to put money before love. Well, there's to be closures and everything to finally come together. And there is traveling involvements. Nine of Wands. There is to be some adversity where there is someone to stand strong but is to be very resilient and ready to do whatever it takes. There is some jealousy involvements and some certain insecurities as well. Reverse Knight of Pentacles. There is some feelings of being stuck and need to be put out in the open. And that is the case of Richard Patron and Danielle Imbo. Um, if you enjoy my uh, videos, if you want um, if you want me to do any more cases please feel free to comment in the comment section below and please like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and until next time take care